So the first thing you'll need to do is open up Google Chrome and you'll want to go to this website right here vr.vex.com and push enter. Now when it opens it and when it opens the website it should look very similar to this. For some reason when I open this on my Windows computer it starts in the blocks uh, project but when I open it on the MacBook it starts in a text project. So if yours looks like blocks then you won't need to do this next step. But if yours looks exactly like mine does right now, you'll need to change it to blocks. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the word file and go to new blocks project. Now it might ask you if you wanted to save that other project. Uh, you can just do discard since you didn't do anything on that project. There's no reason why you would want to save it. Uh, but this is a blocks project. So these are actual blocks of code over here that you drag over here and make a chain of what you want the robot to do instead of typing it out in text. Okay, now there's several different options that you can uh, change uh, along the toolbar up here at the top. Like here you can change to different languages. I don't think you'd need to do that, but some of you who speak Spanish might find that more uh, easy to use. Um, but what we will want to use is right here where it says VEX Code Project. Click that and you're going to change the name of your project. Now the first thing we're going to do is the another version of the basketball drills. So I'm going to name mine basketball drills. Click rename and now you can see it's called basketball drills. Okay now for this one uh, instead of being called virtual worlds they're called playgrounds. So if you click the playground right here it'll show you the grid map which is just a grid of squares. Uh, we actually want the number grid, so I'm going to go down to the number grid map and choose that one and wait for it to load up. Well, it seems to be... Th there we go. I don't know why it took so long, but it, it worked. All right, now, to be totally honest, I don't know exactly what all this information is up here. Uh, I'm just, I've been just ignoring it while I've been working on this. Uh, but you guys will probably be able to figure all that out because uh, you tend to be, uh, I don't know, you'll probably be able to figure out what all that means, but I haven't paid any attention to it. So uh, over here is where I'm going to put the code. All right, and then this window I'm just moving over a little bit so that I can watch the robot. Here's the robot down here on number one. And you can see he's facing this way, so he's going to go up. If I, if I make it go forward, he's going to go up this way. All right, so we're going to do this just like the other basketball drills was. Your robot is going to go up to um, the number three, I mean 31, and then back. And then it's going to go to 61, and then back. And then it's going to go to 91 and then back. All right. So over here are the different blocks of code. Now this uh, type of coding is just a little bit different. This website's a little bit different in that if you tell the robot to go forward, you don't need to tell each motor to move like you did with Robot C. You can just do drive forward. So what I'm going to do is click on this block and drag it over here and link it to the when started. So this is the first thing it's going to do is drive forward. Now if I want it to go backward, I simply click this little box and go to reverse. But obviously I don't want to do that yet. Now I've got to tell it how long do I want it to drive forward. So I either need to do, or I'm sorry, not either, but this is the one that I need to use right here. I'm going to use drive forward for 200 millimeters. Now I can change that unit to inches if I want to use inches instead, but I'm going to stick with millimeters and then obviously I can change it to reverse if I want to do that. Now another option that you have if you want to change the speed is you can do the set drive velocity and put that in here and then you can choose what percent of the maximum speed do you want the robot to go. So I'm going to make it go a little bit faster than 50, I'm going to have it go 75%. So this is different than Robot C. I'm not giving it an actual speed, 
I'm telling it what percent of maximum speed do I want it to go. So I don't know what the maximum speed is, like what the actual miles per hour is, but whatever the maximum miles per hour that this robot can move, this is going to make it move 75% of that possible speed. So it's going to set the, the velocity to 75%. It's going to drive forward for 200 millimeters. All right, so when I go up here to the right, if I click start, then you'll see the robot. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It clicked this. I think you can click either one. Let's see. I, before I was clicking this, let's see what happens if I click up here. So the, that still caused the robot to move. So 200 millimeters made it go one number. And then I'm going to click stop because it's at the end of the code. And then this little arrow or this little circle arrow right here makes it reset back to where it was. So it looks like you can use this or you can use this. Either one will cause the robot to start. And then the square obviously is stop and then this is reset. Now what I said is that it needs to go to 31 for the first step. All right, so if 200 made it go here, then this must be 400 and I'm guessing this is 600. So I'm gonna change this number to 600 millimeters and I'm gonna click play. And there we go, it was a good guess. We got to 31. Now if you're not using 75% of the velocity, if you're using 50% like originally was in here, or a smaller number, then you're gonna need more distance because it's driving at a slower speed. If you set it to a higher number, say 80, 90, 100%, then you will need a smaller number here because you'd be using more speed. So if you don't set this to the same as mine, you don't have to. You can make it go faster. You can make it go slower. I don't care. Just understand that you will have to change this number also. Okay, so the next thing I want the robot to do is go back to the number one. So now what I'm going to do is click this block and drag it in, but I'm going to change it to reverse. And then I'm going to click Actually, you know what I was just thinking? I bet I don't even need this block right here. I just clicked on it and drug it over here and it went away. I bet I can just use this block right here. I'm still kind of learning this, but I just thought about, I wonder if I don't even need the drive forward part since it just says drive forward right here. I'm going to try it out. Do reverse, and I'm going to set this to 600. So let's see what happens. I'm going to reset it, play, goes forward for 600. Hey, I was right. Goes backward for 600. So you don't even, I didn't even need this step either. Whoop. Don't want to get rid of the whole thing. Just want to get rid of this one. Hmm. Well. It's not letting me get rid of that one, so... Oh, maybe if I move this up above it, and then I can click and drag that off. There we go. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is drive forward again. And obviously, it's going to need to be more than 600, right? Because now I want it to go to 61. And I'm sure you can figure out what that is. And then you're going to need it to go backward to 1. And then you need to go all the way forward to 91, and then all the way backward to 1. So just like the original basketball drills that we did during class. Now when you've got this done, you'll want to get my attention and show it to me so that I can see your robot do the basketball drills. 31 back, 61 back, 91 back. And then I will check you off uh, for the assignment. I'm going to call it Basketball Drills 2 actually because we already have one called Basketball Drills. Now, if you don't get this done today, or maybe there's another assignment later on that you don't get done during class, you can save it. So you'll click File, and you'll want to do Save to your device. And then you'll need to decide where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. Oh, here we go. I was trying to figure out how to make a new folder. So I'm going to click New Folder, and I'm going to put in uh, VEX VR 
codes and create that folder and it's on my desktop and so now I'm going to save this file basketball drills to my VEX VR codes folder click save alright so now if I minimize this you'll see that I've created this folder VEX VR codes and if I double click it it's got the code inside of it now the website says that it should be able to save your code from one day to the next uh, but personally I wouldn't trust that because uh, I had some code on here that I was working on before break when I was kinda learning how to use this website and when I came back after Thanksgiving break that code was gone uh, so even though it says it should save it overnight I wouldn't necessarily trust it to I would definitely save this to your computer uh, so just in case something goes wrong but it might work and tomorrow when you open this up your code may still be there alright so again that's what you're gonna do is the basketball drills the robots gotta go to 31 back 61 back 91 back and then show me when you're done